Rated E10 for ages 10 and up. Hey, super animals. It's Michael from Pixile here again with Jake to give you an overview of a jam-packed update of Super Animal Royale. Season six is here, and we hope that you're ready to rock out with Pete and the Swamp Cats because we're a little bogged down with all these updates to share. Bog, it's, it's, it's a swamp update. The Slow Jam Pass brings you the swamp rock aesthetic of the Bayou's biggest sloth-fronted band, Pete and the Swamp Cats. Named after their hit pre incident album, Slow Jam celebrates the creatures, music, fashion, and languid pace of Super Animal World's Southern Marsh. During Season 6, the Slow Jam Pass will be available for a discounted price of 550 SAW tickets. As always, you can continue working on passes from previous seasons via the archive alongside the ongoing Seasons Pass. Season 6 also features a new Starter Pack DLC featuring the Super Topiary Bear, Cottage Core Dress, Hedge Clippers, and 600 Saw Tickets. It'll be available throughout Season 6, so grab those comfy cosmetics while you can. Super Crocodiles are here and ready to take a bite out of the competition. They'll be fighting Tooth and, well, Tooth, to reclaim their coveted spot on the food chain. Super Crocodiles can be unlocked in the research lab once you reach level 50. Play matches to earn their DNA and use it and Super Serum to unlock all six of their breeds. The Lucky Cat Mine, first teased in Super Animal Royale Tonight Season 1, can now be used to meow down opponents unlucky enough to fall into your perfectly laid traps. This new throwable item is a proximity-based explosive that detonates one second after an enemy moves into range. If you hear that trademark, you'd better hope you've got reflexes like a super cat. Pete's Swamp is hopping. The old bogs increased in size and features two new points of interest. Kick back at Pete's shack and listen to his gramophone still spinning away. Or swing by the Crocodile Club, where Pete and the Swamp Cats performed when the island was open to the public. Crispermas has arrived, and the island is ready to celebrate everything the season of genetic modification means to its super inhabitants. Friendship, generosity, and peace. Well, temporarily. Candy canes have been scattered around the island to be redeemed for eight festive new items and 17 returning legacy items. Plus, a scientific miracle has brought three new holiday super animal breeds to the research lab, unlockable year round. The Super Snowman Blue Jay, Stoat, and Winter Stoat. The Snowman Bundle has also arrived in the saw shop. Get in touch with your happy jolly soul and grab the bundle to get four frosty cosmetics. The Super Museum of Modern Arts Gallery has been updated to reflect the top 20 pieces and golden paintbrush winner of the most recent Super Fan Art Contest. Congratulations to all the finalists and a huge thank you to everyone who participated. The submissions this round were amazing, so we highly recommend that everyone check out the beautiful artwork on the website. SARS Netcode has been revamped to provide a smoother, more polished experience. For the most part, the game should feel the same as before, but the end result is that lag-related issues such as players jittering or sliding through walls are resolved. Thank you to all of you who participated in the PTR, and we hope that this netcode revamp will provide better experiences for all of you. The Super Challenge and Milestone systems have been updated and integrated to improve the experience of earning them. You'll now receive five daily and five weekly challenges, and we're introducing many new types of challenges alongside reworks to old ones. These changes were made to make challenges a primary method of earning experience, and so that you can earn more over the long term with shorter play sessions each day. And we've also added a handy claim all button for milestone rewards. This update is jam-packed with gameplay improvements, so we don't have time to cover all of them here, but we'll do a lightning round of some of the highlights. 
and be sure to check out the full list in the patch notes. First off, two new variants of Mushroom have been added. The Super Speed Mushroom grants players and emus that needed a temporary speed boost, and the Super Skunk Mushroom creates a mini cloud of skunk gas when attacked. But you definitely don't want to eat it. You've been warned. The Quick Chat wheel has been increased to eight options. It now has different options depending on whether it's activated in the lobby or in-game. New Quick Chat options include... Trees will now shake when hit by melee, bullets, explosions, emu pecks, hamster balls, and throwables. And you don't need line of sight to see trees shaking, so they can provide intel about nearby fights. The rare Chonk and Speedy Emus have been buffed. They're now strictly better than the common emu, so they should be extra exciting to find and use. The Saw vs. Rebellion game mode has also received some balancing changes, including scaling for the giant star-nosed mole, so it has less health in less populated matches and higher HP in full matches. It'll also start arriving at 450 reinforcement points rather than 400. Also in SVR, we've tripled the amount of ammo dropped by players when they die to help alleviate ammo scarcity in the mode. It's hard to believe it's been four years since Super Animal Row was released into early access. Four years is enough time for college students to form lifelong friendships, and we've formed a similar bond with so many of you in our community. We just wanted to express a huge thanks to Super Animals, new and old, for enjoying the game and supporting it over the years. It's been an amazing journey to take with you, and we can't wait to reveal what we have planned next for 2023. To celebrate, input the code BIRTHDAY in the coupon code field accessible from the game's main menu to redeem four unique cosmetics. That's everything for this developer overview, but this update has a lot packed into it, so definitely check out the patch notes for the full list, and we hope you'll enjoy it. Before we sign off, don't forget to follow Super Animal Royale on all of our social media channels listed in the video description. It's the best way to keep up to date with everything happening on the island in Season 6. We've still got lots of surprises in store, so keep those super ears open. We hope you have a wonderful holiday season with loved ones and a Merry Christmas. We'll see you on the island, super animals. <sighs> For a deeper look at everything in the new update, check out our developer stream, where we were joined by a great group of Super Animal Royale streamers and content creators. We've also linked the full patch notes in the YouTube description, and for everything else Super Animal World, be sure to subscribe. <laughs>